Hello everybody, today we are going to be talking about uh, using our colored pencils in a really effective way. So I have a project that I'm working on here, but I wanted to start with some basics of using colored pencils. Um, you want to have your colored pencils available, obviously, and also having a sharpener to really keep the tip of your pencil sharpened is really, really helpful. Um, I also like to have scrap paper nearby so I can test out colors as I go, because not all the time the color on the outside here might not completely match the color that it shows up with uh, when you are drawing with it. So colored pencils, the material, it's just a pigment mixed with wax. So because it's wax, it's different than graphite. Graphite, if I were to draw a little bit, I could then use my finger and smudge. But since this has wax in it, it doesn't really work in the same way. So um, one of the first things to know with colored pencils is you have a lot of uh, decision making when it comes to creating different values. So here I'm drawing really, really lightly with my pencil, but I can also go and draw really, really darkly. And I can create many, many values in between those two shades that we see. Um, a lot of times people will want to initially draw this darkly, but it's really nice to keep it a little more subtle uh, at first. And I'll give you an, a good example. So if I'm drawing a sphere and I want to create some shading, if I just instantly draw really, really darkly like this, then I can't really go back with an eraser and get rid of this, and it might be hard to adjust it. But if I go slowly, I can slowly build up more color on the surface. Also, another way to take your drawing to the next level when you're drawing with colored pencils is to use layering of colors. So instead of just focusing on having one color and using the lights of darks by pushing, you can take another color, so this is another shade of blue, and I can start to layer that on top of it. And so all of a sudden it makes a more rich uh, and unique color so instead of having, you know, 15 different colors that you can use, you can make lots and lots of creations with different colors. Um, I can go back with a, even another color. So this is kind of a maroon color, and I might add some more in the shading with this as well. Um, while you are doing things like shading, it's important uh, along the way for you to notice if it starts to have a lot of the white showing through your color. So for instance here, this is not a very sharp tip to the pencil, and so I'm seeing a lot of the white through. So if I want to have a really consistent color, this is where that sharpening comes in. So you can take a little bit of time to sharpen that pencil, and just really you can kind of affect how much of the white that you're seeing from the paper below. Um, even so, keeping it light at first is a really nice way to kind of uh, give yourself uh, a break and give yourself a chance to make some decisions later on. So let's go back to my project that I'm working on here. So here I'm working on using just line in this first box. So I've just been really pressing hard because it's really simple what I'm doing. In the next box, I'm focusing on shape. So I don't want this to look three-dimensional. I actually want it to look pretty flat. So I, I have started to shade it, and you can see there's a lot of white shining through uh, in where I've shaded it. And I see a little bit of darkness on one side and lightness on the other. And since my goal is to try to keep it all one shade, I'm actually gonna go back with that pencil and try and get a more consistent shade all the way through. So now I'm just putting a tiny bit of pressure on, on top of what I've already done. And you can see it's starting to fill in some of those gaps that the paper left behind. All right, you saw on my sketch up here how you can start to make form and make it really 3D. Um, here, I'm working on color. So you can see I already picked some colors. Uh, these are kind of mountains and I added lots of different depth to it. Um, me personally, I wanna make the colors a little more rich because they feel pretty basic. And once again, you can see my pencil tip wasn't that sharp because we have a lot of uh, the white shining through. So I'm gonna go with each of the colors, like this was just a regular green. I'm gonna go with a darker green and kind of add to it. And sometimes it's even nice to add to it with some texture. So you could even color and create pattern over the top. So now I'm pressing really hard and it's creating some different designs over the top of it. So feel free to play with colored pencils and kind of figure out what you like best. You might like um, really sticking to one straight color all the way through. 
but it's really, really nice when you get a little more advanced to start adding multiple colors together. Uh, I highly recommend, if you're new to colored pencils, practice things. Before you go to your final draft, do something off to the side to make sure you know what you're doing. And those are the basics with colored pencil. Uh, you can do a lot with it to make things look really realistic, uh, but we're just starting out here and hopefully you've got some ideas.